Looking back, I think the concept of helping people has always been with me. Like I grew up in a neighborhood, in an environment in Chicago where my family was surrounded by people that helped us. And you know, we helped others. I had this like desire that I needed to do something. And so I just, I just did, you know, I'd always been interested in computer science. It, it had been something that had, you know, always been a part of my life. I figured out that, you know, the concept of artificial intelligence, which seems so scary at first, like it seems like it's something that only PhD you know, graduates can do, like postdocs, and you got to be really smart and, and all that. And I realized that we have the most powerful tool, our brains, and we have one of the most powerful resources, the internet. And there's nothing you can't do when you have those two. And if you have a motivation to do it, you'll get it done. I sort of just threw myself into it, learned as much as I could. If we can recognize faces in a picture, why can't we recognize tumors in an x-ray? We ended up getting it to countries like Afghanistan. As of right now, I think we've had about 15,000 different patients in diagnosis, and we're actually open sourcing this in the US right now. And so now we're at the whole range of cancers, pretty much any sort of imaging. We have about 98% accuracy. We do it in real time, and it's free. So essentially, we help human radiologists in being able to detect and diagnose cancer tumors. We also do it faster, and you only need a computer with internet access to just upload your images. I am so blessed and so grateful for everything that's happened. You know, people thank me, but I, I think it's more like, I try to thank them because it's like, you, you give me hope. You know, like people give me hope to like continue doing what I do.